Have you ever thought about integrating AI into your terminal? Well, now this is a real possibility. Allow me to introduce Warp, the intelligent terminal. This is a new free intelligent terminal with AI integrated within it, where you can use natural language for input, autofill, and intelligent suggestions. Warp has a modern input editor that works like an IDE. You can use your mouse, autocomplete commands, select text, or edit multiple lines at once. You can fully customize Warp's appearance, whether that's prompts, settings, or even key bindings to fit your preference. It works with things like Bash, Fish, PowerShell, and it is built with Rust for high performance. Warp transforms the command line with modern UX that combines intuitive editing, intelligent suggestions, and deep customizations. It's a block-based navigation and it's an IDE-like editor that makes reviewing and editing commands seamlessly. You can also have the ability to complete commands faster with smart suggestions. This is where you have over 400 plus CLI tools adapted for your workflow for faster execution. You have fully customizable abilities with Warp where you can tailor things like fonts, you have the ability to change themes like Starship and key bindings to match your style. It's the ultimate upgrade for a smarter, more efficient terminal experience. You also have this thing called Agent Mode, which is something that is an AI powered feature that is within Warp and it activates when the terminal detects natural language queries. So you can see over here that it was capable of processing the natural language query within Warp because it detected it and it basically allows you to interact with the terminal using plain English. So in this case, it was able to start with a task, which we see helped me create an AWS Lambda leaderboard. And from here, it was able to then understand that this was a natural language query. From here, it was able to delegate to the AI, and then it was able to solve the problem for you. This is quite great because it enables tasks like troubleshooting, running complex commands, or exploring workflows without needing precise syntax or external resources. It's a mode that effectively acts like a built-in assistant, which is going to simplify your command line usage by translating user intent as well as executable commands. There's also this thing called Warp Drive, which is a private secure library designed to harness your team's domain expertise directly within your terminal. This is something that will enable you as a developer to upload and share valuable resources such as reputable runbooks as well as various commands which is going to make knowledge easily accessible and actionable with your team. Now with Warp Drive, teams can collaborate seamlessly and it's going to ensure everyone has the tools and insights needed to streamline workflow and enhance productivity. Now currently, this terminal app could be accessible through Mac and Linux and it's soon going to be available with Windows. But you can still access this with Windows if you are to have Windows subsystem for Linux, which is WSL, you can easily install it by running the WSL install command within your PowerShell if you're on Windows to access this. If you are on Windows, you can go ahead and install the Ubuntu deb file, and this will basically be then downloaded. And then you will just need to simply go into WSL by simply typing this up. And then what you can do is you can head over to the quick start menu where they have provided the install command for Ubuntu, where you just need to copy the sudo apt install command, replace the file with the file location, and you can then go into uh, WSL, and then you can then paste it in, and then you can start installing that package. Once you have installed it, you can then run warp by pasting in the warp terminal command, which is something that I'll leave in the description below. It will then prompt you to sign up with an account with Warp, which is completely for free. And once you have done so, you can then log in to your Warp terminal. This is the main dashboard where you can choose what sort of theme that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose dark and click confirm. Now, once you have done so, you can then set up your prompt. They stated that Warp has a custom prompt builder, or you can select PS1 to honor your pre-existing prompt configurations. So. You can either use your pre-existing ones or you can use the prompt template or your custom prompt builder that Warp provides. So simply go ahead and choose whatever one that you would like. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and confirm with the Warp prompt. 
and then you can go ahead and even create a team so that you can invite other team members now that we have configured everything we can actually start utilizing agent mode which is where whenever we type in anything into the terminal it will basically use natural language to process our queries so in this case we can have it even execute commands for us autonomously i'm now requesting it to clone the ader repo called ader on github and i'm telling it to install it for me so let's go ahead and actually paste in the link and let's click enter once we send this in it's going to go ahead and you can see right away it's going to utilize the get clone command and what we can do now is click enter so we have a human in the loop feature linked within warp and we can see that it is now executing the command within this block over here of cloning this repository so it looks like it has been installed and we can see now it is going to go into the ADR folder and it's going to then work on installing the requirements so it looks like it has went along and installed all the necessary packages but now it is requesting us to create a virtual environment so we're going to go ahead and do so we're going to then also have it activate the virtual environment and then reinstall the missing packages and once that's done it's going to then activate the ADR environment so the virtual environment has now been created but now we're going to go ahead and we're going to set our API key now this is a command that I already know so what we're going to do is just hover over this and we're going to click on Control F to then paste in the command that was already highlighted but now we're going to get rid of the section where we do not need which is the API key this is an old API key so I can just simply go ahead select that text and then right click and paste in my new API key and then I can click enter this will set my new API key it's going to then install the necessary packages again and then we're going to be able to start utilizing ADR within this terminal and to do that you just simply need to type in ADR and you're going to be able to access this within this terminal right over here so there we go and we can start accessing this right now now like I mentioned before you can access the warp drive by clicking on the left panel button this is where you can create a team and you can invite other team members to access this warp terminal so that you can execute commands together and you can basically share and facilitate onboarding of documentation directly within this terminal as a collaborative environment with warp you also have context of various suggestions where it leverages contextual understanding of your full code base it's going to tailor responses and commands based on the current directory shell environment or previous inputs which is going to ensure relevancy and accuracy now within the warp terminal you have three key commands you have asia mode command search and command palette to access the asia mode just go ahead to your keyboard and type in control and i this will basically prompt open natural language queries that you can type in within the bottom section of this terminal you also have command search and that's by typing in control r this is a way for you to utilize different search commands like history workflows ai command suggestions you have environment variables and ai queries example queries could be something like this deploy production server workflow run dev and such forth you also have the ability to access the command palette by typing in control shift p this is a way for you to access commands like workflow and the ones that we talked about previously so this is an easy way for you to easily access these things where you can easily set your virtual environments where you can easily access workflows and this is something that makes your life super easy but the really intuitive ux for this warp design think of this as a way for you to access ai within your terminal and it's going to be easily able to execute your commands all in one place which is going to make things super easy you can debug autocomplete and you can execute commands right within the same place so it looks like it is not capable of finding the right file path so i can click on this block i can then right click it i can then attach it to agent mode as context and in this case i can ask the ai to fix this for me so i can ask it i'm having an issue here help me out i can simply paste this in and we can see that it's going to describe the error for me it's going to then run the command to read the output which is over here so we can then click run 
and then it's gonna be able to then open up the snake game for me and there we go it was capable of starting this snake game within a couple of seconds and you can see that it was able to easily find the right path and it was capable of creating this game all within the warp terminal and that's about it for today's video on warp this is an ai powered terminal with an ide like editor smart command suggestion as well as an agent mode for executing commands all by just using natural language it is definitely going to provide more efficiency and it's going to bring more of a streamlined approach to your coding workflow so i definitely recommend that you try this out because it's definitely something that will elevate your experience so i'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can easily get started but that's about it for warp i'll definitely keep you guys posted on my patreon as well as my twitter so definitely give this a follow if you haven't already so that you can stay up to date with the daily AI news being dropped over here. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.